that one of the main things that we have to keep broadcasting is not only the fight, but also the beauty and the love uh, that we have for, for Israel and for this time. And that also, and here's a very important thing, is that we're actually the alternative to peace. Okay, will the, will the, we're the settlers, the settler movement, the movement of the rights of Jewish people in this land, and specifically in Judea and Samaria, is the actually alternative voice for how things can move forward here, and the, the hard left has failed recurrently and will not be successful, and two-state solution is dead. Those messages are very powerful, and uh, I had a, a big success also with a New York Times article that I wrote about five alternatives to the two-state solution from a settler's point of view. That got a lot of play. It also got a lot of hate. It also got a lot of hate. It's true. Uh, but I think, and this is what I see amongst also Arabs, is that the more people realize that Israel is a fact that you cannot deny, then they're going to come to take our position more seriously. What I mean to say is strength. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, like what Napoleon said that you know qu quantity has a quality all on its own, and I think longevity uh -huh. has a quality all on its own. A permanence. Permanence. Very well. That's right. Uh, and people accept and understand that Israel's here to stay. So we have deeper messages than the House of Cards that say that, that Israel's an occupier and Israel's an abuser. These are, these are see-through messages, House of Cards, and yes, you know, people buy them, people consume it, but it doesn't have longevity because we have longevity. We have a deep truth behind us, and that's what makes our message uh, uh, truer and, and, and more appealing. The only downside of that is that sometimes we're lazier because we have a truer message, so we kind of like rely on the truth and God and all that to, to be our, our backing while the enemy is hungrier to try to defeat us sometimes. So in any case, uh, I think I'll finish off by uh, this part at least by saying that the murder of Ari Fuld was a wake-up call to many people to become broadcasters for Israel. But for people like myself, uh, it was also a wake-up call to take whatever we're doing one step higher and one step better. And maybe that's true for you as well that like that murder basically said to us it's time to 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 and Ari was w whatever they say about him was, is really true he was a lion of Zion he was a an internet warrior tireless internet warrior I wish that I could have just some of his energy uh, and uh, that uh, indefatigable uh, voice that continues to broadcast and use these outlets as much as possible uh, is the call of our time I'll, I'll, I'll throw in one more thing, which is I, I sat with one of the great people of our time, Ben Shapiro, and Ben said to me, look, you got to have money these days to also promote on these various outlets, and you've got to get out more of the messaging and, and really disseminate. And I think that's the call of the time, not just to make a lot of stuff, but to make stuff, yeah. and then also to be willing to put money into promulgation uh, of our message. And that has to come from donors and uh allied affinity supporters yeah I think so I think that this is a cause and I think that donors who uh, uh, you know it's kind of uh, as my, my rabbi rabbi Tendler said you know that the Jewish donors sometimes suffer from an edifice complex uh, and he made a joke of course like not like Oedipus complex but yeah. the edifice is that they they want a building and a name on a building uh -huh. but today donors have to understand that the building today just like there's no more discs mini discs or tapes and that everything is virtual that is virtual so too today the real fight is not in uh, 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 you know the hard currency is not in hard stuff it's in the mind yeah. in the creation of knowledge information entertainment knowledge packaged as entertainment media media uh, that is something that donors have to understand that this is where we're at today and this is what we have to create in order to 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 uh, to effectuate uh, change in, in the mind of the next generation and not lose them yes. to the superior media creation of of the enemies of Israel, uh -huh. because a currency, the happening now, the the tweet wars that are going on constantly, are these areas that you think uh, need greater support? Yeah. You know, and 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 it's and, and it's and it's varied. You know, it's varied. Uh, organizations like Stand with Us do a fabulous job at creating a uh, cadre, a a a, a uh, platoon 
a battalion of, of internet warriors and internet uh, content and I think that they are to be uh, lauded for that uh, and they have donors who understand that and I think that's, that's wonderful. Uh, I think also uh, a lot of you know grant work on the ground here in Israel. And he, here's a problem that also Jewish organizations sometimes uh, and Jewish donors make a mistake and they think, and this is the, the mistake that some organizations have made, they think that the way to really do things right is to find a lot of commonality between people and not say messages that turn people off or are divisive or divisive. And that's a mistake. If the enemies of Israel are willing to get into the nitty gritty and cause occupiers, but we're not willing to refute those claims, uh, we have made a mistake. You cannot make videos and things that are always about the niceties and Israel's a startup nation and Israel's gay rights and all these things. Those are all dandy. But, but if you're not willing to get into the muck and tackle it and answer it and yeah. deal with it. Right. And that's again where Ari Fold was a uh, uniquely gifted person is yeah. that not only had he had, did he have a positive outlook, but he also was willing to duke it out with the other side. And that was something incredibly impressive about him. Yes. Um, and yeah, we need more of that. We need more of that. And, and we need more of the donors and uh, my good friend told me not to use the word donors. He said we're, the word contributors. I think that when a contributor uh, gives money to a project like this, he's basically becoming a broadcaster. That's what, what, that, that's what a person has to understand. You are part of the broadcasting fight for Israel. Yeah. And I think that that's, uh, you know, you, you, need, you need people who are going to get that. And, you know, thank God I've, I've met a few of those kind of people. And, and yeah. they make a tremendous difference. Yes. And we need their help. Yeah. Oh, you mean as the contributors? Yes. Absolutely, but we don't have enough. Absolutely not. We we, we look. It's it's you know it's really very simple. Do do you want to capture the hearts and minds of the next generation, or do you want to lose them? And it's not we say the next generation, but it's the current generation. Correct. It's the current. That's right. It's the current generation um, who don't have answers, don't understand a historical context, um, and and are inundated with contra messaging. So, so that is something that absolutely needs to be reinforced. They need reinforcement. They need teaching, reinforcement, yeah. fun, entertainment. They also need to see courage, and this is one of the great hidden values of our time. Uh, courage is an incredibly still and forever will be one of the foundational blocks of, of, of humanity. And and when courage is not encouraged, and I believe I have a con uh, an idea called encouraging courage. We have to encourage courage. And we have to talk about it, so you have to show it. And not just always go to the soft and easy and, you know, look, Israel's a startup nation, okay. But there's courage to hold on to this land, to fight back against the jihad, etc. So, so, you know, they need to see those images. They need to be inspired by those images. That that's possible. Yeah. And, and that's very important as well. So, you know, we, we've talked a lot of words, but at the end, it's kind of very simple. You have to broadcast the truth. And I have another concept, which I call the victory of truth. The victory of truth, and the victory of truth has to nitzachon um, ha'emet. Uh, I call it in Hebrew, which is, you know, we have to help, uh, we have to help truth be victorious in the face of memory erasure, mm. historic fake news, yeah. fake history, fake refugees. Yeah, uh, revisionist historians. Uh, you know, I think today that's a fancy word. I think I think that the uh, Trumpian <laughs> phraseology of uh, hashtag fake. Yeah. History, fake news, and, and fake refugees, and fake human rights. I think it's uh, an incredibly important. What kind of respect does your movement, the, the the settlement movement, if you, for lack of a better term, what kind of respect do you get from the uh, mainstream Israeli media? Um, do they view you as halutzim? I, I mean, it's a it's a mixed bag, but uh, here in Israel. Here in Israel, we have whatever the media says. We have another incredibly democratic medium, which is actually the voting booth. And it is clear to Israelis that this nation is moving towards patriotism and nationalism away from the two-state solution. And so that 
uh, gives a good indication to people of where the soul of the people is at. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, let's put it this way, the 90s and the early 2000s were a much, much worse time for us. Today, there is an obvious move away from the two-state solution. The Gaza withdrawal has proven to the average Israeli that, that, that land for peace and that kind of formula is a mistake. And so there is a clear movement, even if the media is not as supportive as it should be or could be, it's still clear to people, you know, where the direction is.